Hey everybody, Tom Waters here with Creative Waters Art. If you're like me, every time you finish a painting, if you think it's good enough to either try to sell, give to family or friends, or to keep, then you go through a process of finishing your painting with, if it's acrylic, putting an isolation coat down and then putting on a varnish. The question that's always come up for me is which varnish finish, and the choice is being matte, satin, or glossy, to use on my paintings. When I started, first started painting, I just followed what I had heard and read or learned from everybody else. Um, and that is, it seems, like, it seems like the predominant choice is to do a gloss finish varnish. And the reason being that glossy varnish makes the paint look a little bit more like oils. You get a wet finish. Um, it, it supposedly deepens the darks a little bit. Um, maybe brings out the color, the vibrancy of the color a little bit. So uh, I went along with that for a long time until one day I have two paintings that I am able to put up at an inn uh, here in Vermont and they're in two different spots. And one day I went to replace one of the paintings and when I visited the other painting, I was really surprised. It sits at the end of a hallway. It's probably about a 15-foot hallway. And it's fairly dark, and it's, and it's against the wall before you take a turn. And then behind me in that hallway is a bright window. Now, the light doesn't come directly into the hallway, but it's bright light, and then the painting sits at a more or less darkened hallway um, at the end without as much light. And I was shocked because when I walked to, around the corner to that hallway and looked at my painting, I basically... it was. I couldn't recognize it. You couldn't even see it. There was so much glare coming off that painting from the bright light of the window behind me, even though it wasn't falling on the painting or even in the hallway, that basically until you got down the hallway and started to turn to move away from the painting is the only time that you could see it when there was light at the end of that hallway. So that got me to thinking, and I decided to put together this video to sort of demonstrate for you that you might want to think carefully and maybe do your own experimentation about what type of finish you want to put on your painting, depending on where it's going to go, where it's going to hang, um, you know, what kind of lighting conditions it's going to be under. So to do that, I took this painting. This was a throwaway painting. This was actually a practice painting I did uh, before a plein air event of a scene that I wanted to paint at the plein air event. Um, and so because I wasn't going to keep this, it wasn't a great painting, I decided that I would do a little experiment. So my question to you is, looking at this, let me zoom in here. So looking at this painting, the question is, you know, do you notice, is there part of this painting that stands out to you as being better, worse, different? And then as you're thinking about that, let me move the camera. Sorry about that. Now I have a fair amount of light in this room. I have one bright light coming from the side and you can probably see that. Now, if you look at that here, it's pretty clear that there's a lot of glare coming off of this third of the painting. I did this third in gloss, I did this third in matte, and then I mixed some matte and gloss together, not scientifically, I don't know exactly the, the mixture, it probably wasn't 50-50. But this is satin. This is a mixture of gloss and matte. And I'm using artist grade varnish from Golden, polymer varnish. And here's the matte finish polymer varnish. And applying it to this painting. So the question becomes, do I want to have a painting that has that much glare? And this is really important because I'm about to put a bunch of pieces into a a showing that's going to be important to me and I don't know what the lighting condition is going to be like and I don't want to end up with my paintings having so much glare that they can't show well. Let me take this off of here. You know if you look at it from here, now I'm going to have to refocus and get right into that light. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, here, in this view, even if it isn't focused well, you can see that nearest part here is the gloss, and even with the satin finish here, you can see this is a little bit more glare than on the end here. If I turn it this way, the opposite, you can see the glare coming off that light, and then the middle piece is a little bit of glare, and then the near piece there isn't as much. So it becomes a real question, and I think it's one that is worth asking for yourself and doing an experiment like this. You know, there's not a lot of bright colors in here. It'd probably be worthwhile 
to take a canvas that you're going to throw away and put on some bright colors, some dark darks, some light lights, um, and then do this experiment for yourself so that you can really evaluate it in your home, uh, outside, with bright light, with diffused light, and see what kind of finish you're going to be comfortable with based on you know the effects that you get. I don't see that there's a big difference in color and darks. A little bit I can notice the colors are a little bit more vibrant, but not very noticeable unless you're really looking for it. If I had more bright colors in here, it might be more noticeable, and that would be an experiment. Okay, so that's basically what I wanted to share with you. I just thought it was worth putting together a little video demonstration to show you the difference that you'll get using different finishes. Again, matte, satin, or glossy. And don't just blindly assume that one is better than the other. I can tell you that in doing research online, I mean, I, I almost never go into wet canvas forums, go into Will Kemp uh, Art School, go into a, a number of different sites, looking at YouTube videos. It, predominantly, people put on a gloss finish. Um, and I'm not saying that's the wrong choice. All I'm saying is that it, you should be aware of the different finishes and maybe do a little experiment and think about where your art is going to hang. Um, before you make the choice of what you're going to finish your work with. Thanks. And um, if you're, I mentioned an isolation coat before. If you're doing an acrylic painting, always put an isolation coat on your painting before you put your varnish. The reason being, the isolation coat will protect your acrylic paint so that when it comes time, or if it ever comes time to take the varnish off, you can do so safely without affecting the paint underneath because of that isolation coat. I have a YouTube video on isolation coats, why to use them how to put them on, you can check that out. Uh, I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel, and I would welcome you to visit my website at creativewatersart.com. Thank you.